Welcome to Wrestling Talk in the Shop, where we cover all things professional wrestling, from new wrestling to classic wrestling and everything in between. We go to wrestling, we do some wrestling, and everything in the ring. Join us now for Wrestling Talk in the Shop. Hey guys, it's John at Wrestling Talk in the Shop, and today we're going to go over a couple things that I acquired from the wrestling collection a while back. First, we've got... This is a uh, carrying cross, is that what it is? Hourglass. The guy never opened it that I bought all that stuff off of. We haven't opened it either. I haven't opened it either. So we're gonna dig through it and see, well, as we can get this. I don't know what it costs, but why would you buy something and not open it? I guess a lot of people do that. Hell, I do that. <laughs> I gotta destroy this box. I think you can still do these. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, these I think are still available in the shop. I think they're like 40 or something like that. Oh, you can have little things everywhere. Yeah. You gotta pick do... it up, pick it up. There you go. This gotta do vacuuming. Oh, it don't even I thought it was a statue. No, it's hourglass. It's hourglass. <laughs> it's hourglass. It's hourglass. It's hourglass. I thought it was like a statue. Your time is up. I see why he didn't open it now. It ain't that cool. Is that his thing? Is that does he do hourglasses? I don't know. Uh, they kind of buried him. I guess I don't know. Well, he's there. not buried. Don't say buried. He's still. Right. He's not been that high. He's not focused much. You know. We're gonna vacuum you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I guess that's cool. I guess I don't know what. I think it's supposed to. You gotta hold it there. Oh, you gotta hold it? it. Just for a minute. Does it actually work? Hell yeah. Okay, it's okay. actually working. Just come up here and show it to him. It's got some writing. Tick tock, tick tock, time's up. Oh, okay, okay. I seem like I remember him saying that. Yeah. Anyways. I should have sold it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I mean, I see why he didn't open it. <laughs> Good, cool, cool, I guess. I mean, Let's see the other side. Anything on the other side? Just oh, it just says the same thing on both yeah. sides. Time's up. Like sands of the hourglass, these are the days. I thought it was maybe like a little <laughs> figure of him and then it went. What's his woman's name? I don't know. They should have Oh, yeah. they had him on there a little bit. Anyway, put it back in the box. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It says over there. Anyway, not really the coolest thing. I'm more of a figure cut guy. This, the guy did tell me if I can get it on the table here. He did tell me that like fingers, part of the fingers were broke or whatnot. I think it's one finger. And one finger was broke. And I've had it for a while and I like to open it on the channel. So we'll see what I'm gonna stand up here. See if I can wrestle this box out here. I'm gonna try to take a little better care of this box. All right, so what is this? The hot, the yeah, you get Roddy Piper Immortal Moment. Here, we'll turn it around. You can see the from 2016. So yeah, eight years old. Yeah, set that over here. Come over here and show them. Show them the back of it. There, read the back of it. Welcome to Piper's Pit, the uncut, uncensored talk show of the loud and brash Rowdy Roddy Piper for the viewing pleasure of the WWE Universe. Piper's Pit was home to some of WWE's most engaging and heated interview segments featuring one-on-one -on -one interviews with greatest WWE stars and all of sports entertainment. Relive the magic of Piper's Pit and remember just when you think you had all the answers, he changed the question. All right, yeah. That famous spot where he hit Jimmy Snooker in the head with that coconut. Alright, come over here and help me. Let's unbox right. this thing here. We'll, I, guess. I don't know what it looks like. May not even be in here. Oh. Slide. Got WWE foam. <laughs> Alright, bring that camera over here. We'll, we'll do this unveiling. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh, there he is. What's part of it? Oh, I see his broken finger right yeah, there. You see it? There's there? his finger. That's okay. So, yeah. so you pull it out. Pull it out gently. 
he wasn't gentle enough. That's why he broke that finger. You got it both. I can't hold the phone though in the camera. All right. All right. That's cool. What is this? Oh, shit, almost broke more than that. What is that? Because it's microphone. Oh, I guess it's this. Wonder why they got that weird wire there. Then you got that uh, certificate of authenticity. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, Rowdy Popper is uh, definitely a, a legend there. You can see this. Guys, see that bag pops? I mean, that's the set almost from his uh, talk show there. Oh, I forgot. What was the name of the talk show? Popper's Pit. Popper's Pit. Right I, knew, I knew that for 100 years. But, oh, it says it up there. My mind goes blank when I get on this camera. You can see once the face has got good detail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, also in Popper's Pit was that segment where... Uh, Except for his missing finger. Yeah. Well, I mean... It's probably actually in the pogs. Probably so. I mean... These boots. Uh, you can get a pair of Rowdy Popper boots. Look very similar to this on eBay for like 50, 60 grand. <laughs> so I've seen them on eBay. Uh, yeah. Also, another famous Piper Pit segment when Andre the Giant uh, ripped uh, the necklace off of uh, Hulk Hogan there and started their, which was the start to their match on uh, WrestleMania 3. I like these statues. Uh, I've got a couple different ones. I've got a Hulk Hogan one and a uh, Ultimate Warrior one. A lot of times they're, I mean, they're like a thousand bucks. I really don't know what this one, what this one goes for. You got your phone? No. Look it up. And see what we're gonna find out. What what a what one with a broken. Of course, this one's got a broken finger. But see what a what this sells for on eBay. Just a rough estimate. But yeah, I mean they're expensive. I mean it's. What's it called? A mortal. Oh, I don't know. It's. Oh, here's one. Yeah. But they want like four or something the used or is it? no this one's new oh okay so that, i mean that's still pretty expensive you can buy a lot of elites for four hundred dollars i mean see. i mean it's like those uh bobbleheads those bobbleheads foco bobbleheads those things are really expensive everything's so expensive nowadays but anyway this is a cool piece i'm glad to have it uh There's not really many on here so not really uh It'll look good. Something I, if I didn't buy, inquire it from the wrestling collection, I probably never would have bought it. I'm not sure who sold these. If they were, you know, like that Hulk Hogan one. I don't think it was. I can't remember who did it. But side so, side show collectibles does a lot of those. And there's another one. I don't think the other one was uh, the Hulk Hogan one was actually WWE uh, member uh, made or whatever. So I don't know. But uh, but anyway, very cool piece. I'm glad to have it. Show, show him the back. Uh, He's got the microphone. There. That's kind of weird. I don't really get that whole piece there. But, I mean, his finger there. That only bad thing about that one's his finger. I don't know how that happened. But uh, very cool set. The back's just solid. Yeah, the back's just pretty much solid there. I mean, that's probably been, what, four or five months since we bought that collection? Yeah. <laughs> we haven't opened it, you know. I've been kind of trying to go through this stuff on YouTube, just kind of document it and stuff, whatnot. But uh, anyways, guys, we appreciate you watching. Very cool. They had to set up at um, the wrestling store, the oh, actual the, stuff that we went wall, to. What was it, WrestleMania? I think they, it was WrestleMania 38, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, WrestleMania was. 38 in Dallas. I think they yeah, had it. they had it set up at the, with a the superstore. Yeah, the yeah. superstore they had to that set up. Close. But anyways, we appreciate you watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell. If you're not, uh, we do a weekly wrestling show on Sundays. <laughs> Check it out if you're interested. Thanks for watching, guys.